All right, so I'm going to go into the logic panel. Okay. And, and uh, also here for the benefit of those viewing, let's um let's change the screen size a bit and uh, or go ahead and yeah make that one larger right there. Oh, I'm sorry, make the uh, the button panel larger. And um, let's hit the plus key on the number pad and uh, make that a little bigger, and that'll make it easier for the screen capture here. All right. So now we're going to add two sensors. Is it going to control the left and right movement of the mm -hmm. coconut gun? I'm going to set them to keyboard sensors. This will be the left keyboard sensor, and this one will control the right movement. <clears throat> okay. So to um, to set the key that activates the keyboard sensor, you click in this field right here, and then you press any key on your keyboard. So, so this is for the left direction movement of this cannon. So you're going to press switch key to use for the left movement. I guess we'll use the left arrow key. Okay. And for the right movement, we'll use the right arrow key. Great. So you close those down just uh, so it would be smaller. Ha! Huh. Right. <laughs> We're going to add two controllers, <clears throat> connect our keyboard sensors to our controllers mm -hmm. and is the default controller that comes up just fine in this yes. case the and controller yes okay all right and then we're going to add two actuators and by default they are exactly what we want we're running the motion actuators which are just do just that they control the motion of the object so this actuator is going to control the left motion and this one is going to control the right motion we're going to connect our controllers to our actuators. So the way this works is when the sensor is activated, it sends a positive pulse to the controller, um, which then sends a pulse to all the actuators connected to that controller. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, right now um, there's some number settings there, some different columns under the motion uh, type controller. What, what do those different columns signify? Okay. They signify from left to right the X, Y, and Z axis. Okay. So right here, if I said 0.1, that would be 0.1 in the positive X, along the positive X axis. Okay, and, and up in our 3D window, um, I presume then the X axis is represented by the red arrow there, that or the red line, the, the right, left. That is correct. Oh, and I see in the corner there, we also have an icon that shows us the axis there. Okay. Um, another thing you want to look is if we go to local, select an object, which actually I, this object is oriented correctly. <clears throat> okay. But, and some of your objects, they will not be oriented quite so. Let me see. We go and um, I'm just going to rotate this and give an example. All right. So if we. Okay, so we're just we're rotating this to show uh, a different scenario where an object right. might be um, not oriented correctly on the global axis or, or or be skewed on its local axis. Right. Rotate another 90. All right, so in this case, the um, global has um, the x axis is from goes this red line right here. So it matches the the. Right now it's sitting there. It's matching the global. Oh, it is the global. Okay. And if the we go local. To local. This is the objects axis. As mm -hmm. you can see, the x axis is now pointed toward the camera. Okay. So, so what would happen in the game? Are you controlling the local or the global axis there? That depends on this L toggle button right here. Oh, okay. With right now it's toggled on, so it would be along the local axis, and if we toggle it off, that will be along the global axis. So, okay. for example, if I hit point 1, I'm just going to press P and start the game. As you can see, we we're working it's going, working in global mode right now right. because we have that little toggle turned off. Right. Whereas if we turn it on, it's going to go along the toward the camera. 
Ah, okay. okay. So that's the significance of that uh, toggle button. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be going left. So we're going to just say negative one point one, and for the right actuator, we're going to go positive. All right. So while we went through that whole little exercise there of, of reorienting the local axis, um, really, if somebody didn't, that was just an example. They, they could have just right. left things the way they were and then uh, used the local axis. Right. And uh, so for those of you that were trying to follow that, uh, you know, just go back to where you started and just use it the way it was. So. All right. And so now if we press P, we can hit the left arrow. To go left and the oops, I ah to hit, to do that. we're gonna use the global <laughs> so we're gonna turn that off okay right. all right so now if you go right you'll go right right and <laughs> left arrow to go left okay all right 